The start of a brand new year is when many people decide to begin a healthy diet. But while we might start out all determined, by the end of January, temptation can start to set in. Motivation is a good start, but to achieve successful weight loss, you also need to take the right approach. In this guide to reaching your weight loss goals, you'll discover the top 8 things that will help you lose weight, so you can stop overeating and implement a healthy diet that will ensure you eat well forever. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel now so you don't miss our next video. 1. Set realistic goals when starting out on your weight loss journey, it's important to set realistic goals that you can meet. And one of the best ways to do this is to start small. Make the milestones you aim to reach incremental ones, not massive, unobtainable hurdles. One of the hardest things about trying to lose weight is running out of steam. So when you do reach crucial steps along your journey, make sure to congratulate yourself and use them as positive reinforcement. Don't focus on a too far off goal like losing 28 pounds, because you'll only feel frustrated when you step on the scales and see a minimal weight loss. Instead, make your next target to lose another 5 or 7 pounds, as you'll be able to reach that quicker and you'll feel more determined to continue when you do. 2. Stop buying processed foods If you are planning to embark on a diet, processed foods can actively sabotage your efforts. Studies have found a definitive link between regular processed food consumption and obesity along with a higher chance of adipose tissue-related health risks. Adipose tissue is where your body stores excess fat, and if you have too much of it, it can place you at higher risk of developing cardiac issues, diabetes, and more. As processed foods don't contain much, if any, protein, they can also make you feel less satisfied, making you eat more at mealtimes. Instead of loading up on junk food next time you're at the store, try making simple swaps that will boost a healthy diet. Exchange white bread for wholemeal, sugary drinks for sparkling water or herbal tea, and switched processed meat and cheese for fresh foods. There's one more important thing to remember, and we know it might sound contrary, but you should avoid most diet foods that are advertised as being low-fat and low-carb. They might seem healthy at first, but they're usually loaded with chemical sweeteners or trans fat, so we recommend you give them a pass. 3. Get active, stay active One of the best ways to lose weight and still eat well is by getting active. So make sure to move your body as much as you can every day. It can be hard to find time to go to the gym every day, so instead, try and incorporate movement into your daily routine. Take the stairs, not the lift. Go for a walk every day, and walk to the shop. If you work at home, you might consider installing a standing desk, as standing up not only boosts blood circulation, it burns slightly more calories than sitting down. Consistency is key and this is even more pivotal than the amount of movement you achieve at one time. It's far better to stay active regularly than it is to go for a five-mile hike, then sit down for the rest of the week. Remember, it's the small but repeated changes you make that count in the end. So keep the golden rule in mind and aim for little but often. 4. Do the exercise you enjoy if you've gained excess weight and you want to lose it, then to see significant results, pair any reduction in calories with a consistent exercise routine. Walking is one of the best and cheapest ways to lose weight, as it's relatively easy to incorporate into your daily routine. A review of 149 separate weight loss studies conducted on overweight adults concluded that when exercise is combined with a healthy diet, it significantly helps to aid weight loss. Exercise has also been found to reduce visceral fat, the harmful type of fat that raises your risk of serious health conditions. To find the one, think about what you love to do that also gets your body moving. And this doesn't have to be the obvious, like jogging or working out. It could be anything from adult ballet classes to judo lessons. 
The type of exercise that's right for you might even be something you more typically associate with being social, such as roller skating, salsa dancing, or skateboarding. As, after all, no one said that moving around shouldn't be fun. 5. Make healthy meals that taste great. If you don't enjoy your meals, you'll soon slip into old eating habits. Making delicious, healthy food means you'll be more likely to maintain your weight loss goals. Vegetables and salads are super healthy and low calorie, but they can also taste absolutely delicious with some seasoning, or a splash of hemp or olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Jazz up lean mates, like turkey or chicken, by serving with slices of avocado on a bed of rocket, onion and baby plum tomatoes. Then add a twist of lemon and some basil and olive oil for an ultra-healthy, delicious snack. Whether you're a hardcore carnivore or you're currently a committed vegetarian or vegan, by getting inventive with food and making as many meals as you can from scratch, you'll be assisting your weight loss. This is because ready-prepared foods often come loaded with extra calories, not to mention unhealthy additives, chemicals, extra sugar and salt. Even a homemade cheese sandwich is usually healthier than one you could grab in a supermarket. 6. Don't starve yourself No matter how slowly your weight loss is going, you should never ever starve yourself. Starving will only lead to binging, and not only is it super unhealthy, it can lead to serious health problems. The only time you should ever contemplate going without food is if you're intermittently fasting, which is where you cycle between eating and not eating over a day or throughout the week. Research has shown it boosts weight loss as it kicks off a process called metabolic switching. This triggers your body to draw its energy from ketones, which are stored in fat as opposed to glucose, which is stored in the liver. As a rule, never eat less than 1300 calories a day if you're a woman or 1600 if you're a male. And many people, particularly those with active lifestyles, will need to eat much more than this. Remember, there are lots of things you can do to cut back on your calories without ever having to resort to starving yourself. But if you need some inspiration, why not check out our video 10 Easy Ways to Reduce Calories. 7. Gradually develop healthier habits. To achieve sustainable weight loss, build healthy habits into your day-to-day -day routine little by little, as then they'll quickly become natural and will support your weight loss goals. For example, drink water before meals so you feel fuller. Don't skip breakfast and eat smaller portions. Include weight loss aids into your routine. A. Fat-burning green tea. Researchers conducting a study on green tea drinkers found that the catechins in green tea significantly decreased body weight in participants. Also, once you've lost weight, it can help you to maintain a lean figure. B. Weightlifting One study found that weight training led to a 9% increase in resting metabolism in men and almost 4% in women. So, if you even do just a little regularly, it will help you burn calories more efficiently when resting. C. Going to bed earlier can help your metabolism to work more efficiently too, as sleep plays a big part in regulating appetite. If you don't get enough rest or you get bad quality sleep, you could find it harder to stay on course. 8. Stay positive any weight loss journey will take time, so it's important to not be too hard on yourself. If you have more than a couple of pounds to lose, keep in mind that you can't expect to just shed the weight overnight, just as you didn't gain it that way. You're in this for the long haul, so take time for adequate self-care. Be kind to yourself and celebrate each goal you reach. If you do relapse into old eating habits or overeat past your calorie limit one day, don't beat yourself up. No one is able to stay on a diet 24-7 and a bit of indulgence here and there simply won't harm your long-term weight loss. The important thing is staying on track over time. So don't let one small lapse sway you off course. What does it take to lose weight and keep it off? If you've previously attempted to shed the pounds only to regain them later, 
you might be used to the seemingly endless spin cycle of dieting. Though you find yourself doing it again and again, sometimes you may wonder, what's the point? As we've highlighted, there are a number of healthy habits that should accompany any diet, if you want to optimise your chances of success. Regular exercise, drinking enough water, getting enough rest and eating healthily should all form part of your new routine. At the end of the day, the number one thing that will help you reach your goals and keep the weight off is your own determination. And you can help this along by incrementally making small, healthy changes. It's these baby steps that will eventually result in a renewed relationship with food. And before you know it, you'll not only end up losing the weight you may want to shift, you'll find yourself following a healthy diet that sees you eating well for life. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below, and let us know in the comment section if you have any questions.